Hey, it's Jack Riccardi. And for just a minute, I wanted to uh, share a few of the stories I'm working on for our show today when we go live at 4 o'clock on KTSA. So there's an investigation going on into some uh, fentanyl-laced letters that were sent to various election officials in several states, uh, Georgia, Oregon, California, Nevada, a couple of others. Uh, so this investigation is very, very serious. And I'm reading the Scripps Howard News Agency wire story about it. And buried deep in the story, 10 graphs deep into the story, is this quote, one letter postmarked in Portland and sent to the Pierce County Auditor's Office read, end elections now, stop giving power to the right that they don't have. We are in charge now and there is no more need for them. It's kind of interesting that the letters are coming from leftists implying that leftists sent fentanyl through the mail to election officials, and you buried that 10 graphs into the story? It's called burying the lead. I love this story out of Australia. The Kmart stores in Australia had a Christmas promotion selling holiday hams. And the hams come in a decorative drawstring bag that reads, Merry Hamas. 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 It looks like Hamas. It's uh, Merry H-A-M dash M-A-S, and they're apologizing, and we're going to take the bags off the hams. They needed one more meeting, or maybe the meeting needed to go just a few minutes longer before they uh, finalized that idea. And then uh, remember the other night in the debate when Vivek Ramaswamy was torching Ronna McDaniel of the RNC? Uh, she should quit. She should resign. She should be fired. She's terrible. Well, she's getting her revenge now. In an interview, she is saying that maybe uh, Ramaswamy doesn't understand the way things work in the Republican Party, because she says, after all, he voted for Obama. And Ramaswamy today is saying that is, that is a lie. That is not true. He never did vote for Obama. Do you believe that Vivek Ramaswamy was an Obama voter? Could he have been an Obama voter? Would it matter to you if he had voted for Obama back in the day? I'm going to say this. Vivek, as long as it never happens again, I'm willing to let it go. We'll talk about all these in the breaking news. We get started live at 4 on KTSA, and you can find our show as an on-demand podcast at KTSA.com or look for The Jack Riccardi Show wherever you like to get your other podcasts.